to outsiders. This tranquil landscape may seem the perfect place to enjoy a gentle summer season. But for an unlucky few, this region is a well-disguised and deadly trap. Our story this evening is a particularly harrowing epic entitled Tortures of the Dam, and it takes place here, in a land haunted by the black curse of brutal, violent death. We begin our tale with an incident which took place 13 years ago. But as always, it will end in the here and now, at the midnight hour. Yeah, box of nails, they just ran out. Get them yourself. Come on, damn it, I can't find my cane. Just toss me the box. You're always telling me how independent you are, so prove it. Walk over and get your own box of nails. What's the matter with you? What do you think's the matter with me, Ron? I see you're packing again. I thought we were tired of the drama. No drama, no arguments, no excuses. I'm not even mad at you. Hmm. Now see, I'd have to care to be mad in I just don't care anymore. Just like that out of the blue? God, you are stupid! I have given you plenty of warning, Ron. You're just too moronic to pick up on my signals. Here we go again, you and your signals. God forbid you just speak up if something's on your mind, huh, Darlene? I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing this. I'm, doing I'm just this. leaving. Shut up! See, that is it. That is the reason. You can't grow up. You're not a man. You never will be. You're just some... Giant, whining brats. Oh. I'm sorry, darling. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Please. I'm sorry. Don't flatter yourself. I didn't even feel it. Where are you going now? None of your damn business. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Oh no, you're not divorcing me. You made a commitment and I'm holding you to it. Yeah, I think so. Then you're even stupider than I thought. It's over, Ron. I never loved you. As long as I respected you, I could stay. Now even that's gone. Is it? Yes, it is. You know, I married you because I thought getting far away from people would make me happy. Being stuck in the middle of nowhere with you has made me realize something. What? The only thing I need to be happy is to get rid of you. <laughs> nice try. I think I'll find a real man. Not one that hobbles around on one leg like a circus freak. That'll never happen. Huh? Just because you think you're royalty doesn't mean anyone else will. Royalty? Well, you know, I guess compared to you, I do look like that. Who wouldn't? You better shut up, lady. Make me. Oh, I'll make you. Keep pushing me. Oh, I wouldn't push you, Ron. You'd fall over. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't tip over, Ron. Don't tip over. <laughs> There's a breeze coming. Don't tip over. Rise and shine, Darlene. Oh. What happened? What time is it? It's time for you to make some big decisions. I already made some big decisions. To get rid of you. Ow, my head. To... <laughs> you 
bastard! Untie me! Sure, Darlene. Well, I'm good and ready! You're ready now, you pig! Untie me this minute! I mean it! I'm sure you do. But first, you're gonna tell me what your plans are. My plans are to break your neck and then get out of here. Oh. Untie me, you son of a bitch! Final answer? Yes, it's my final! What are you doing? What is that thing? It's a sanding block, Darlene. And if you took any interest at all in my woodwork, you'd know that. No, take it away! Ah! Ah! How do you like me now? Am I still a circus freak? Am I? Ah! Ah! Oh, you monster! I'll kill you for this! I swear I'll kill you! Wrong answer. What is that? Oh, alcohol! Don't! That, that'll burn my face! It's not alcohol. It's sulfuric acid. And it will burn. I'll give you one last chance. Tell me how much you love me! Yes, I did. The longer the acid sits, the worse the burn. I'm sorry you made me do this, Darlene. I really am. You monster! Oh, you really are a freak! How could you do this to me? Easy, Darlene. You made it easy. Get me to the hospital before it's too late. Hurry! If I do, will you forget about the divorce? Forget about the... You maniac! You're going to jail. When they see what you did to me, they'll never let you out. Ever! And I'll just have to make sure that they never see your lovely face. Won't I? Take it off! No! Run, please! <laughs> Well, hello. Is there something wrong? Kinda. My car ran out of gas. Really? Where is it? Back there, always. That's strange. I haven't seen it. Oh, no. I hope no one took it. Do you think you could give me a ride to the nearest gas station? Well, I'm not from around here, and I haven't seen a gas station in a couple of miles. Don't you have a can of gas in your car? You know, I'm low on gas myself, and I don't have a gas can, but... Maybe you should wait for the next car to come along, and they'll have a can of gas for you. Or maybe it'd be better if you just die, old man. You better bloody freeze, or I'll blow your brains out. Don't shoot, don't shoot, I won't move. You bet you won't. Justin, get Grandpa out of the car here and take him to the tree. Chelsea, get the rope. Wait, I'm confused. What do we need a rope for? We're not going to let him run around the countryside. We need to tie him up. Come on, move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I remember where I put it. Chelsea. Come on. You can take, you can have the car, just take the car. Oh, we're going to. But first, we're going to teach you a lesson about old men picking up teenage girls. No, no, I didn't mean it. She, she asked me for help. I told her I couldn't help her. Oh, that wasn't very nice of you, now was it? You were just going to leave poor little Chelsea in the middle of nowhere, stranded, no ride? No, no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean that. Take it easy, Vicky. He's scared. <laughs> yeah, he might have a heart attack. He's so old. Hmm, heart attack. That would get you out of the way now, wouldn't it? Well, like I said, take the car, take everything. Take my wallet, take everything. Shut up. You talk too much, old man. You talk way, way too much. He sure does. So what are we going to do about that, Vicky? I don't know. 
we're gonna do about that, Justin? I don't know. How about ancient Chinese love torture? Good idea. It's not your department, Chels. Well, you see, I've always had a thing for dirty old men. Yeah, she likes them ripe and ready for the nursing home. <laughs> I must have some weird father issues or something. In school, I did the janitor once just to see what it would be like with someone so old. <laughs> That's for being so stupid. I know, he totally fell for it, right? We better get out of here before someone sees the car. And you? Flea bag, either gonna forget everything and live, or you can remember, and I'll blow your brains out. I forget, I forget everything. You better. Cause now, we know where you live. And next time, there won't be any happy endings. Wait, how am I gonna get untied? That's your problem. What's going on? Did the car break down? Shut up, Chels. He's looking. Nothing's wrong with the car. We're out of fuel. That old guy wasn't kidding when he said he was running low. Check the trunk. Maybe there's a gas can or something. Nope. When I first flagged him down, he said he didn't have one. Great. Now what do we do? What do you mean, now what do we do? This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, stealing a car and having some fun was. Getting lost in the boonies wasn't. Well, I need to be home by midnight. Um, I have an English midterm tomorrow, and if I flunk that, my dad is not buying me a spider. Spider? What are you collecting bugs now? <laughs> a Porsche spider, stupid. It's a car. Whatever. I'm more of a Mercedes guy myself. Porsches are chick cars. Right. Let me call for a ride. No! The last thing we need is someone from home catching us with a hot car. We need to find some place where we can call them. Um, you guys? What? Don't look, but, uh, there's a guy in the middle of that field, and he's staring at us. Where? She said don't look. It's okay, guys. There's no one there. Oh my god. He's gone. He was just in the middle of that field. He's, he's gone. Well, there's no one there now. Yeah, no one can move that fast, Chels. <laughs> well... Let's just stay in the car. And wait for the damned cops? <laughs> no thanks. Wait a minute. I think I know where we are. Great, where? What Chelsea just said reminded me of the ghost of that guy that got executed. The what? What guy? Well, when I was little, this beautiful lady lived out here with her husband. But she wasn't happy, so she decided she was going to leave him. Only her parents said she never showed up. And when the cops searched the house, all they found was this old wooden mask with nails in it. The husband must have used it to torture his wife before he dumped her body in the swamp. I don't know, they, they, they executed him for the murder. But folks around here, they say they see his ghost from time to time forced to wear the mask himself for all eternity, just walking around looking for the dead body of his wife. That did not happen. Charles, there's no such thing as ghosts. What if that house is around here somewhere? Sounds like a great place to wait for a ride. Which way is it? Just follow the trail of blood.
See, I was right. There it is. Finally. Let's go inside. It's getting cold out here. It'll be locked if no one's lived here in years. It's the boonies. No one locks their door out here. Looks like someone still lives here. Nope. Wrong again, Vicky. Check it out. It's a story about that guy being arrested for murdering his wife. It's dated 13 years ago. Jeez. Nobody's lived here in 13 years. And everything just looks the way they left it. Hey guys! I'm not getting a signal in here. I think we're in a major dead zone. Chelsea, what's the matter? He's out there! That guy I saw from the field! He's out there, Justin! Once again, nobody's there. I think you're being a little impressionable. I think I'm getting a bit chilly. Chelsea, go get some firewood. Oh no, I'm not going out there. Do I have to? Yes, you do. There should be plenty of old branches in the woods. I'll get the firewood. No, you stay put. Firewood, move it. You're a real piece of work, Vicky. That I am, dear. That I am. Justin? Vicky? If anybody's out there, I don't believe in ghosts. I, I don't. Look, it, it's not that I don't like you, Vicky. It's just, why do you have to be so hard on Chelsea? You guys are all alike. That bitch is playing you like a violin. Oh, bull. She is. She's always trying to be the center of attention. Like when? Like right now. Ooh, I see a ghost. Ooh, there's a scary man. Ooh, isn't it funny how I'm the only one who sees That's him? That's not what she's doing. Isn't it? No, she's just... Scared. You know what? I think you sent her to get firewood just to punish her for being afraid. What if I did? So I'm gonna call her and tell her to come back, that's what. You can't. We're in a dead zone, remember? Fine. I'll bring her back myself then. Oh no, you're not. I'll get her. I have a few words to say to that bitch anyways. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Damn right I do. Chelsea? Chelsea! Get your butt over here! <sighs> Me and Justin are sick of you being the center of attention. We're not going to look for you anymore. Oh, oh, oh. 
on, where are you guys? Finally. It's open. All right, I'm coming. Chelsea and Vicky. Gone. They're gone, Ron. <laughs> Who are you? Who's Ron? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten your wife already. It hasn't been that long, has it? Wait. You're the lady that was... I thought you were dead. So does everyone else. You dumped me in the swamp to rot, but I survived. I survived, Ron! <laughs> <laughs> of course I've had to disguise myself until you came back. It's the only way I could avoid being a suspect. A suspect of what? Wait. It was you. You killed them, didn't you? I expunged them. I had to. I always will. As long as there are faces like that. Please, I'm not Ron. I didn't do this to you! I figured out a way to even things out between us. Now, you took my beauty. So I'm going to take you one good look. My one good... My what? <sighs> no, please, God. It's the only way you're getting off this table. I'm not Ron, please, God. <laughs> no, did you hear me? I'm not Ron! <laughs> 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 Deranged by her night of horror at Ron's hands, Darlene maintained a death watch until her warped mind could be satisfied with vengeance. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's film. Relive the fear every week at the same time. Join us again next month for an all-new episode of The Midnight Hour.